Hi everyone, it is Kelly and I am here with another Jomar unboxing. Um, my Poshmark closet name is Leather vs. Lace, that's leather underscore vs underscore lace. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and Mercari. I do have a full-time job, so I like to get these um, thrifting boxes to supplement my thrifting. Thrifting in my area has been really... Um, has been really bad since COVID. And by bad, I mean they jacked up the prices um, immensely. So I like to get these boxes. I'm also nine months pregnant. I'm actually past my due date now, officially. <laughs> so I wanted to get this done because I just received another alert from Jomar that one of my CPR boxes is on the way. So I wanna get this done, photographed, and listed as soon as possible. So this is the 50 piece spring and summer box. 50 pieces for $190 and I used a buy one get one half off for their end of year sale. So it ended up being $285 for two boxes. I have my other um, unboxing already uploaded and listed. And so it was $285 for both at buy one get one half off. $54 in sh for shipping. They are located in Pennsylvania. I am located in Mass. For a total of $339 and some change. I think it was like four cents or something. Um, so 100 items at $3.39 per item. I ordered this on December 29th and it got here on February 1st. So that's the nitty gritty for that box. Let's just jump right in and go. So um, last time I received, so in this box you can have anything from clothing, men's and women's, and you can have accessories, shoes, anything related to spring and summer. Oh, okay, so this is a drift, and I did receive several of these pieces in my last box, samples. So I looked up the company, it's an Australian company. They are a little oversaturated on Poshmark. Look at this amazing stitched detail, it's a maxi, with like a little additional hem. really cute short sleeve size small um so I'm not sure how these are going to do to be honest with you I'm a little nervous just because I have so many but they're amazing quality but people can't touch them so we'll see okay so this is lost and wander new with tag size small this actually like gives me uh, farm real vibes. I had a dress just like this like almost exactly the same. It has a tie, has the ruffle, floral detail, really cute little sleeves with like see-through lined the entire way. It actually does wrap through. It's not like a faux wrap. It actually wraps. Really cute. Um, new with tag. Next is Hollister, size extra small, cute little crop tee, or maybe this isn't a crop tee. <laughs> I'm 5'9", so an extra small would be that stitched on, distressing throughout, front and back, like purposeful distressing. With little palm tree accents. Little bag. No brand. So I'll use Google Images to see if anything comes up. If not, this might be a good one for Play-Dohs or even um, for my um, in-person store. Like reseller booth. Show me your Moomoo Mellow. Size medium, tank, hot summer nights, high low. It is white, so I'll have to go through this with a fine tooth comb. It's not new with tag, but I still have nightmares from my Show Me Your Moo Moo box, which was pretty much a Show Me Your Moo Moo damaged box. <laughs> uh, every single piece. Every single piece. Okay. Um, we the Free. So Free People. High Waisted. White. And these are stitched on and there is purposeful distressing there and on the hems and on the pockets. 
I'll have to look up this style. Hopefully it does well. These look like they're in great condition. I didn't get any free people, I don't think, in my last spring summer box. So that's nice. Free people again. Oh, this has the black tag, the black sample tag. So this is the Marista handkerchief skirt, dark combo, size extra small. They were having um, free people. Um, so maxi skirt, handkerchief hem, lace detail, really pretty. Lined, but no, only lined at the top and at the bottom. Back zipper, really cute print. Um, they were having free people packs, like sample packs that you could get. I did not get one because I don't know. I bought another free people from somebody else, all new with tag, not samples, and I've only sold two pieces from it. And they were like $12 per piece, which is what these resale packs were also. Saturday, Sunday, min, mini, day and night combo, extra small. This looks like a snake print. It's like brown, maroonish, non-elastic hem, extra small. You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> like the Disney Channel with Ashley Tisdale and Lizzie McGuire when they would wear jeans, or Hilary Duff when they would wear jeans with the mini skirts. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. It's got like this tie with this overhang and tiered. I really hope that phase is not coming back. I was a little older for it, but my little sister was really into Lizzie McGuire and all that. Okay, so BDG for Urban Outfitters. Bodysuit. New a tag, $39. We'll see. Size small. Another new with tag. This one has some writing on it though. Purple strappy back body. Urban Outfitters. Size small. I'll probably bundle these. I don't know. They're not close enough in style. So here's this. This looks really small. This one's a thong bathing suit or bathing suit. This one was more like that. And these don't have the snaps at the bottom, but I'm guessing they don't care. Cute. Ooh. Ah! Ooh, I love these. What size these are? Zara. Ooh, size small. The TRF collection. It's got a really cute leather. This is just my closet style. This is my style too. <laughs> um, front pockets, longer, short, with the belt. When you tight, oh, zipper, enclosure. There. When you tighten the belt, um, it creates like a uh, paper bag hem too. Super cute. I really like those. Oof. All right. Oasis, size eight. This is perfect for Easter. It's got like a pleated, yeah, those colors are showing up. It's lined, really pretty. Ruffle at the top, gold, keyhole back, cute. Really pretty. This is definitely summery. Little sailor shorts, navy, top shop brand. Size two. Where's the back? Top shop. I mean, they don't really sell for me, but those are cute. And if anything, oh, these are free people. I know because I wanted these. What size are these? Size 26. Cute gray distressed with this fun um, lace up. Detail. These look like they're in great condition too. 
they have like this panel so that you can't see past the lace up. Cute. Hundred percent cotton. Awesome. I like those. I'm putting everything I don't have to steam and can just list right away right there. Project Social Tea, size small, white, eagle detail with the rainbows, says sky's the limit, California. Cute. Project Social Tea tops are really cute. Oh, did I get two of these? Oh, they have two different tags, though, on the body. Oh, so these are two samples. They come with tags like this. BDG for Urban Outfitters, size small, ribbed, little itty-bitty tank top with, like, the, or crop top? Crop top. Must be. Is this a size small, too? This one has like the printed tag. I'll bundle these together since they're the same style. Both new with tag, one maroon, one black. Cute. American Eagle, this is one of their newer tags. Size large, MSRP is $34.95, a little um, I don't, there we go. <laughs> a little off the shoulder, one shoulder, um, cute top. 100% viscose. Cute. I feel like I'm saying cute a lot. I'm sorry. All right. This Henley cardboard. LA made. No size on this. Light pink, great for spring. Has the ribbed. Has some loose hems right here, but I don't think it was worn because they wouldn't wear it like that. What size is this? Does it say medium? 100% cotton. These are white over denim overalls. I will have to go through these with a fine tooth comb when I'm actually listing. Front pockets, back pockets, um, destroyed hem. White makes me so nervous. Distressing in the front, intentional distressing. What brand are you? Get glasses, size 12. And they have like a crisscross back. Yeah, crisscross back. Where they're supposed to feed through like that. Cool. Another bag. This style. These sell well when people can touch them and see them. Unless it has a brand. No brand. So this one I probably won't list on Posh. I'll do a double check and make sure all the beads are there. Looks like they are. Seems to be some um, fraying on the tie. Hmm. Okay. Let's see shoes. I don't like shoes. <laughs> Unless they're new. Zara. Size small. Oh, this is one of those button-up tops that you can wear with leggings or that a lot of people wear with leggings. I wouldn't say this is spring or summer, but this is fun. A short kimono, Forever 21, size medium, MSRP is $19.90. Might be a good bundling item with, um, I have a couple of those bralettes, which I know I've said in a past video that I haven't been in the green yet on any of my Jomar 
um, wholesale boxes and I just went in the green on my Free People Intimates. So all the underwear and bralettes, all new with tag. And I usually make anywhere from $7 to um, $25 and I have about 30 left. So all of that will be straight profit. I've already made my money back. Okay. Some Eberj um, pieces. I got all tops last time. So naturally, bottoms. <laughs> Size medium. This color is sea gold. Um, I don't know. There's no tag on this, though. Oh, one just flew out. So there's a separate tag. Um, Xena Solid. And I'll probably pair these up. I already packaged all those, but this is a new pattern to me. So this is the Flying Lotus Eva. Oop, it's coming undone. It's like a Thai bikini with rose gold hardware. Size small. Dreamcatcher bottom in size large and cocoa. I have two of these. I have one in large and one in a small. Sandbar Valentina size medium. All of these have the hygienic tag on them too, but as I've learned from my Show Me and Lulu box, that means nothing. I'm still scarred, guys. I'm still scarred. <laughs> Alright, so shoes. I don't like listing shoes. Some people find it very therapeutic. I do not. These are Keds. The only shoes I list are from my own closet. Ugh. These are going to be donate. These are past my willingness to clean and whatever. Somebody else can. Um, from my own closet or if I find something like brand new, I'll pick it up. Uh, I don't know, don't know how to pronounce this. Kanas, Kanas, Kanas. Um, this is the... Santorini Metallic Ute Infinity Sandal in Gold, size 6. It is a sample. This brand just released that they're doing a partnership, or let me rephrase that. Jesse James Decker just announced that they're doing a partnership with Kittenish, her clothing brand. So I'm interested to see what the market is on these. They look great, but they have that giant sample sticker on the back, so... I'll try to get that off, but I probably won't be able to. Maybe I will. I should stay positive. <laughs> what are these? Ooh, so these are also not going to be listed. These are shoots, shuts, shoots. Um, they also make a lot of leather boots, which do wellish. Um, but these, that split right there. And then these are the bottoms. But they are square toed. They're on trend. They're on point. But no. Um, another pair of those. Kanas. Kanas. K A A N A S. Size 6. Rose gold. Slides. Got the bottom. These were probably. Oh, these are a sample. And they are the San. Lucas double band slide size 7 oh no he sent me a size 7 and a size 6 
15% flaw rate, guys. 15% flaw rate. Which we're within, still, for 50 pieces. How many? I didn't see any stains on anything, but that's three pairs of shoes. Three pairs of shoes that are not usable out of 50 items so far. Not bad. American Eagle. So this would have been priced at $24.99 at my Savers. American Eagle, size small, cute, button up. Great condition, just needs to be ironed. Hollister, size medium. Has the ruching on the top. Romper. I'm probably not going to list this. Looks like it has a bit of wash wear. I'll either take it to Play-Doh's or put it in my booth. J brand. Oh, so much puckering. These are super soft though. Which is probably why they're super puckering. Like a Capri, Olive. It's not there. And some puckering in the back. I don't really know if you can see that. This is their Cypress Capri. But it is going to be donated. My Savers does have a textile recycling center attached to it. So I know they actually use it. Lucky Brand, size extra small. It's, oh wow, this is really pretty. It's white. A tie. Right here, maxi dress. This would be really cute for bridal or even like on the cape for dinner. Where are you? Zara, size small. Looks like a button up with a tie option at the neck. You a romper or a dress? You're a romper with an overlay. Long sleeves. Why am I seeing threads? Um, it's a little too much fraying for my liking, but this is something that I could list in my, has like that boho vibe in my marketplace. Okay, what are these? Oh, oh. What is that? I don't know, some sort of slobber? Yeah. And the thing is, it's like they're like new. Yeah, it's all over like the size eight harmony. That's why I don't like shoes. A few more items, guys. Okay. Ooh, ooh, Club Monaco. Great brand, but doesn't sell well on the resale unless it's like a really desired piece. Peplum bottom, straight top, side zip, size eight. Ooh, I might be keeping this. It's a thicker material. It is lined. Viscose. Cute. I'll have to see the resale value. Fun. That's a good one for summer. That's a good um, wedding guest dress. Wallace, size small. I think this was sold in Anthropology. It's like a linen, right? Linen and Lyosol top, tank top, we'll have to see. And what is this? Lottie Moss, size medium, it's like an emerald green, um, almost like a sh um, slip dress uh, with adjustable straps on the back. I'll have to go through and make sure there's no nicks. Needs a good iron. 
another one of those skirts from Free People. Marista handkerchief, light combo, size extra small. Has the metal tag. Oh no. Whoa, whoa. Hmm. Looks like coffee. We're gonna go with coffee. I don't think I can get that out. I'll try. That would be sad. Cute handkerchief. If I can get it out, I would sell these as a bundle, maybe. Let's see how they do. Let's see how oversaturated the market is, too. I know there's samples, but if everyone was getting this box. So these are Seychelles. These are also a brand sold at Anthropology. Here's the fronts. Here's the backs. These might do well at like a Plato's. And I have these? four boxes of shoes. Electric Karma, they have like, I think they had one of these boxes where you could just get Electric Karma shoes. Size 8, Lola Espadrille. Chocolate. Lulu Camel, size 11. Those Lolas were a size 8. Nice detail though. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm nine months pregnant. Bending over is a pain. Oh, so the same, the Lola chocolate espadrilles in size eight. And Bickle Pewter. And this one has MSRP of 29. I have one last thing. Oh. This looks like they rubbed against, maybe they were just packaged poorly. Hmm. Because like the pewter is all ripped off. Okay, so there's that, and on top of the box, right when I opened it, because I don't like when people open the boxes and struggle with them on the camera, <laughs> these were on top, and I didn't want them to get knocked around. So these are Quay sunglasses, incognito, new with tag, with the cases. I'm only going to open up one. They're all labeled incognito. I don't know if they're all the same color. I love Quay sunglasses. The issue is that the Quay, the actual website has been having, oh, here's the um, tag, has been having buy one get one half off sales like all the time now. Ooh, wow, these are awesome. They start off as like a navy and go down to tortoise. Wow, I really like these. Making a pair for myself. I know BDG does Quay only boxes. I thought they did too. Has the tortoise on this edge with gold right there. Awesome. Well, that's a good box. I'll definitely make my money and then some. So this is a good one. I think they're sold out of the 50 pieces right now. And they have the 730, or the the 200 piece for 730, which if you use a discount code, I think it brings it to about maybe a, definitely not under 600, so that would still be three and change per piece. I can't process 200 items at one time, which is why I'm going to rush and process all these as much as I can before the baby actually decides 
and he wants to get here, um, which I hope is sooner rather than later um, because he's fully cooked and done. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you got a lot of photographing and or listing done or you just had some of your questions answered about what's in a Joe Mar box. I have three more on the way and I will keep ordering because um, as I said, my thrifts are just not the prices are crazy right now and the supply is really low. So, and I don't foresee myself having a lot of time in the near future. And I have a debt that I wanna pay off. I have student loans that I wanna pay off, credit cards that I wanna pay off. My car was just totaled um, and we had to buy a new one unexpectedly. So I just really wanna get a head start and this business is great for that and it gives you the flexibility. So thank you all for hanging out and I'll see you next time. Thanks.